Hi, this is Dr. Eric Westman with another episode of Dr. Westman Reacts. Be sure to look down below for 10 tips to start keto right if you haven't already done so. This is a video called Why Eggs Are Bad For You in 60 Seconds. And of course, you want to look for the source of the information, and this was from the, the vegan activist. Well, I think we might know what the bias is here. Vegans don't have any animal products and uh, probably be against eggs. Let's see. Why eggs are unhealthy. The egg industry has misled us to believe that eggs are nutritious health foods that are essential for the human body, although it was actually illegal to advertise eggs as healthy or safe. Eggs are very high in fat, saturated fat and cholesterol. Time out. Good. <laughs> we want fat and cholesterol. And uh, so this is a video coming from the old paradigm where the belief was that fat is bad necessarily and that you shouldn't eat fat and eggs and all, even though eggs are very nutritious. And uh, the idea about it being illegal is interesting because that doesn't really persuade me that it has anything to do with it being healthy or not if someone makes it illegal. But uh, let, let's keep going now which will increase the risk of heart disease and can cause other serious health problems like diabetes. Egg okay, so it's time out. For a long time, for decades, it was taught that the low-fat diet reduced heart disease. It was not well-founded in science. It was created by weak science. There's a great book by Gary Taubes called Good Calories, Bad Calories that unravels this. Another book by Nina Teicholz called The Big Fat Surprise, meaning eating fat is fine uh, because it was surprising because we've been taught that it wasn't. So I see this, this video is in the old paradigm of uh, eating fat would be bad, eating eggs would be bad because of the risk of heart disease. Well, that risk is actually not there because of the eggs or usually there's some other confounder in these other studies or the risk is, is very, very low. It turns out that eating eggs specifically raises your good cholesterol, the HDL cholesterol. I, I wonder if he's gonna mention that. Let's... Eggs actually have over three times more cholesterol than a steak. Because of their naturally occurring salmonella, eggs are unsafe for human consumption. It's estimated that more than 140,000 people a year are affected by salmonella poisoning. Well, you know, I guess that's a real risk that really has nothing to do with the egg nutrition itself, but um, yeah, I guess any food that's going to be mass produced and sent around has that risk. Even even vegetables and lettuce uh, has that risk too. Uh, best, I guess, if you have your own chickens uh, and eat the eggs uh, there. <laughs> eggs have been marketed as a healthy source of protein, but animal protein is far too acidic for the human body and has been associated with cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. Uh, they have also been advertised. Hang on. So these associations, let's talk about that a minute. Association does not mean causation. And so in these nutritional epidemiology studies, these are observational studies where you ask people what they eat and you follow their health over time. These associations cannot really prove anything. It doesn't mean if, if they're associated, they're, they're causal, unless the association is really, really high. The defense of observational studies, epidemiology, is something like smoking was found out to be related to lung cancer and emphysema because it was something like 12-fold, 12, 12 times the risk. Um, and in the nutrition studies, it's never that strong a, an association, uh, 12 times the association for lung cancer. It's usually about 1.5 or, or 1.8 for a nutritional element which really isn't enough to write home about, although a lot of people claim that it's causal because of this very, very small association. Ice is a perfect source of iron, but a 50 gram egg contains only 0 0.6 milligrams of iron, which is considerably low compared to healthier plant-based alternatives like beans, seeds, So find some other greens. way to get iron, I guess. You cannot say eggs are safe to eat, can't say they're safe, you can't even mention safety, can't say they're healthful. All references to healthfulness must be deleted as well. 
<laughs> I don't know where that came from. I, um, there's a lot of cherry picking of, of language from articles. I, I Fortunately, there are many egg-free alternatives, and a whole foods plant-based diet can provide all the essential nutrients for long-term health. So, what's your excuse now for eating eggs? Uh, well, so eggs are a good source of, of nutrition, and in fact, they might be the perfect source of nutrition. I mean, if you think about it, you can make an entire chicken out of an egg. You can. So you need the yolks, you need the egg whites to make that entire chicken. Of course, it needs to be fertilized. But um, so actually eggs are a great source of, of proteins and fats. And I think it's very healthy to have the, um, the, the eggs as part of a, a, a diet, a low carb diet or a keto diet can be full of eggs. Um, I think there was even a... Woman's Day article I was involved with that talked about the egg fast. What would if you just ate eggs for a few days? Well, I thought that was a reasonable thing to do. Um, I wouldn't want you to do that forever, but you know, as a source of nutrition, it's actually really good. And so back to the vegan activist, why eggs are bad for you. You can see this is a, a, um, a way to try to persuade you not to eat animal products not to eat eggs. I'm not persuaded by any science that was here. There was some epidemiology, nutritional epidemiology, which is association, not causation. In fact, Jeff Volek and his group have published papers on how eggs raise your HDL cholesterol and um, in, a compo in a part of a uh, composing a uh, low carb kind of diet, eggs can be quite nutritious. Now the safety side, I mean, if it's uh, relatively speaking going to be uh, part of a grocery store sort of thing, you're going to be uh, there's going to be a small risk of uh, infection or, or foodborne disease, no matter how you're you're uh, purchasing the food. I suppose maybe you have your own chickens and your own eggs. It still astounds me that most chickens lay one egg every day. It's a pretty amazing machine that can take bugs and and uh, uh, insects and turn it into a nutritious thing like an egg. A chicken does that. So um, not to worry, I'm not convinced that eggs are bad for you in a context of a low carb diet, which I've eaten now for over 20 years. Oh, that's not great persuasive evidence, is it? Uh, but uh, I have, I've eaten a lot of eggs and I don't want you to worry about eggs. This video doesn't uh, make me worry. I hope that's helpful. Be sure to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. And if you haven't downloaded the top 10 tips to start keto right, the description uh, below has the link. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And check out adapterlifeacademy.com.